Ευλογεί τόσο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αΐ και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth. You are present everywhere and fill all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us of all our stains, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over their adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your reliance be for them a weapon for peace and an invincible standard, now and always and forever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth and preserve those you have been called to govern. Grant them victory from on high, for you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Can let us pray for all devout and orthodox Christians. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Can we pray for Archbishop Alexios and all of our brotherhood in Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. You are merciful and loving God, and to you we give the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, my mouth will show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. As for me, I awoke, and I lay down and slept. For the Lord will be my help. I will not fear 10,000 people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who have hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, and then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, nor chasten me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me. Your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, and my strength has left me. Even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and my companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, O, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt. Indeed, I will live in anguish because of my sin. Those who rendering evil for good opposed me when I sought for justice. 
Let my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. O Lord, forsake me not, stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate, trackless land that has no water, so that I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with the choicest fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early morning watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, and in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried before you. Let, let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down into the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those whom you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down into the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing of your love in in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I have cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high and then troubled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me sorely shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced me from friend and neighbor, so wretched as I am. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out to you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Let, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed, He made known his ways to Moses, his will to Israel's children. The Lord is one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold of love. His contention is not always forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us according to as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so far the Lord has extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed his sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed. He remembers we are only dust. A man, his days resemble the grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity to those who fear him. And his justice is upon children's children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens. Over all things is his kingship supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty and strong ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea and in your righteousness answer me. 
and enter not into judgment with your servants, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief within me, and my heart is in distress. I remember the days of old I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered on the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have put my trust. Teach me to know, O Lord, the way in which I should walk, for I lifted up my soul to you. Rescue me, O Lord, from my enemies. To you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are our God. May your good spirit lead me in the straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness you will destroy my enemies. And you will bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, and for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Alexius, the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the present, the armed forces, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for the city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather and abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering, or in captivity and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Theos, Kyrios, Kepefanden, Dimin, Evlogimenos, O Erkomenos, En Onomadi, Kyrios. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Oden ke imisos i pendes, ta tiniki simbola ferondes, si toniki ti tu thana tu vomen. Osana endisistis, 
ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. To confirm the general resurrection before your passion, you resurrected Lazarus from the dead, O Christ our God. Therefore, imitating the children, carrying the symbols of victory, we cry out to you the victor over death. Hosanna in the highest, blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Την Ανάσταση μπροτού σου πάθους πιστούμενος εκ νεκρών η γυράς των Λάζαρων, Χριστέ ο Θεός. Ο δεν και η μίσος οι πένδες, τα την οίκη συμβόλα φέροντες, σι τον οίκητή του θανάτου βόμεν. Πώς αναεντήσεις εις της ευλογημένος ο ερχομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion and yours the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. You took pity on the tears of Martha and Mary, and you ordered that the stone be rolled away from the tomb. O Christ our God, and then you called the dead man and resurrected him. And through him, O giver of life, you assured the world of its resurrection. Glory to your dominion, O Savior. Glory to your authority. Glory to you who established all things by your word. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You took pity on the tears of Martha and Mary, and you ordered that the stone be rolled away from the tomb. O Christ our God, and then you called the dead man and resurrected him. And through him, O giver of life, you assured the world of its resurrection. Glory to your dominion, O Savior. Glory to your authority, glory to you who established all things by your word. Του θανάτου δε σωτήρ νυν ισχύν καθελόντα και συνέ αυτόν τον εδώ με γύραντα και εξάδου πάντα σε λεθερόν σαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears? Full of pity, O women, disciples. Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh bearing women. See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statues. Very early in the morning, the murmuring women were hastened to your tomb, lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered the time for lamentation has ended. Weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your commandments. When the murmuring women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior. 
They heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulcher. <laughs> Και τον τούτου Ιωνέ και το Άγιο Πνεύμα Την Αγία Τριανέμια Διουσία Συν την Σεραφήν γράζοντες ο Άγιος 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 η Κύριε Both now and forever and to the ages of ages giving birth to the giver of life O virgin you delivered adam from sin and to eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow he who from you became incarnate god and man has directed to life him who fell from it Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind. You are for glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Source of wisdom and foreknowledge, Christ, you still inquired of the neighbors of Martha and Bethany, O Lord. And you said you were, have you laid, beloved Lazarus? Sympathetically you wept for your friend for, for four days. Then you're by your word alone you raised him as a Lord and giver of life, O compassionate lover of humanity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Source of wisdom and foreknowledge, Christ, you still inquired of the neighbors of Martha and Bethany. O Lord, and you said, where have you laid, beloved Lazarus? Sympathetically you wept for your friend for days dead. Then by your word alone you raised him as the Lord and giver of life, O compassionate lover of humanity. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For by enduring the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sin my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you have shown to me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. The bones which you are broken shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall greatly rejoice of your righteousness. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. But you will not be pleased with the sacrifice of whole burnt offerings. 
a sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls upon your altar. The joy of all men. In the joy of all men, the truth who is Christ our God, the light and life, the resurrection of the world has appeared unto those on earth in that he is benevolent, becoming the type of the resurrection and granting divine remission unto all. Granting divine remission unto all. To your disciples, O Christ, of all, you declared, saying, Brothers and comrades, our friend has fallen asleep. Thus you foretold to them and taught them that you know all things as the creator of all things. So onward let us go and see a strange burial and behold Mary's lament in the tomb of Lazarus. For I shall work a miracle there, polluting the cross and granting divine remission to all. Granting divine remission unto all. On April 11th, we commemorate the holy higher martyr Antipas, Bishop of Pergamum. On this day, we commemorate the devout woman Trifania of Sizicus. On this day, we commemorate the devout father Farthmuthios. On this day, the Saturday before Palm Sunday, we celebrate the raising of the holy and righteous friend of Christ, Lazarus, who had been in the grave for four days. O Jesus, you grieve, a token of mortal essence. Your friend, you revive, a token of divine potence. At the intercession of your friend, Lazarus, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Grandio de sua sosixiran, que tin egiptian mothi, ti crian di afigon, o Israel ti sanan boa, to litro ti que teo y moras o me. O divine master builder of the celestial vault, as the only lover of mankind and founder of the church. Establish me, O Lord, in love for you, the believers, firm support and ultimate object of all desire. You are my strength, you are my power and my O Lord. You are my God, our also exultant joy who designed to visit our poverty without ever leaving the Father's bosom at any time. To you then do I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet to your power being glory, O lover of man. Why, O Lord, have you cast me away from your countenance so never setting light? And this foreign darkness now has covered me, miserable that I am. Bring me back, I pray you, into the light of your commandments. Guide my ways, I entreat you most fervently. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for many are my iniquities, and bring up from the deep of evils I supplicate, for I have cried out to you, God of my salvation. O my Savior, hearken unto me. Those servants from Judea who of old were deported and sent to Babylon, once treaded on the fire of the furnace by holding to the faith in the Trinity and chanted, Blessed are you, the God of our fathers. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Oh, praise and bless him who by the armies of angels is extolled as king of the heavens, supremely exalting him unto all the ages. 
Demitere tu fotos, and imnis timondas megalino men, let us praise and magnify in hymns the Theotokos and Mother of the Light. When they saw him walking who had bended for four days, the people were amazed by the miracle and cried to the Redeemer with never silent hymns, O God, we magnify you. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. In advance affirming your glorious arising, my Savior, from Hades is you liberate Lazarus, who had been dead for four days. Hence I magnify you with him. Doixens <laughs> Glory to you, our God, glory to you, and all trustworthy witness of your three days rising. You show to all in the person of Lazarus, when from the grave after four days you raised him, O oh Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to demonstrate your human energy, my Savior. You walk and weep, and you ask, where is Lazarus? And do to declare your divine such, you raise him from the dead. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, amen. O Master and my Savior, by the freely chosen and voluntary affecting of each of your wills, you brought about my salvation in ways surpassing speech. You are the Theotokos, literally a virgin, and we confess it for we have been saved through you.
again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Holy is the Lord our God. By your word, O word of God, Lazarus now leaps out of death, having returned this life. Therefore the peoples honor you with the branches, almighty ones, for you shall destroy Hades utterly by your own death. By your word, O oh word of God, Lazarus now leaps out of death, having returned to this life. Therefore the peoples honor you with the branches, O mighty one, for you shall destroy Hades utterly by your own death. By means of Lazarus has Christ already plundered your death. Where is your victory, O Hades? For the lament of Bethany is handed over now to you. Let us all wave against it, our branches of victory. <clears throat> Traime, 
Praise God and his saints, praise him in the ferment of his power. You resurrected Lazarus from Hades after he was dead. For four days, O oh Christ, thus before your own death confounding the dominion of death. And by means of one whom you love for tokening the liberation of all mankind from corruption, therefore adoring your omnipotent authority, we cry out, Blessed are you, O Savior, have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the abundance of his great mercy. Martha and Mary unto the Savior said, If you had been here, O Lord, then Lazarus would not have died. Then Christ, the resurrection of those who were in death, have slumbered. Resurrected from the dead, the man already four days dead. Therefore, O believers, all come, let us adore him who is coming in glory to save our souls. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. To your disciples, O Christ, you granted the tokens of your divinity. But you humbled yourself among the crowds, your intention being to conceal it from them. Therefore, as the foreknower of all things and as God, you predict you to your apostles the death of Lazarus. In the presence of the people in Bethany, as though you did not know, as men you sought to learn the place of your friend's burial. But when he who had been four days dead was resurrected by you, he made your divine power manifest. O oh, Almighty One, glory to you, O oh Lord. Legatus, praise him with a tremble and dance, praise him with strings and flute. You raised your friend who was four days dead, O oh Christ, and brought an end to the length of Martha and Mary. And thus you demonstrated to all that you are the one who fills all things by your divine dominion, by your own free will. The cherubim cry unto you unceasingly, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, our God, above all glory to you. Praise Him with resounding cymbals, praise Him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Martha cried aloud to Mary, Come for the teacher is here and is calling for you. And she went quickly to the place where her Lord was. And when she saw you, she cried, she knelt, she worshipped. As she covered your immaculate feet with kisses, she said, Lord, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. Arise, O Lord, my God, let not your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your people to the end. Four days after he died, you raised them, Lazarus and Bethany. As soon as you came to the tomb, your voice became life to the dead man. And Hades, groaning in fear, released him. Great was the miracle. Very merciful, Lord, glory to you. 
will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things. O oh Lord, even as you said to Martha, I am the resurrection. So you fulfilled your word in action by calling back Lazarus from Hades. Resurrect me also, for I am dead through passions. I beseech you, compassionate one who loves mankind. had summoned a dead man half four days and resurrected him and called him his beloved friend. Let us sing glory to him who is supreme that at the intercessions of Lazarus, the righteous, he might save our to the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos. For through him who from you became incarnate was Hades taken prisoner. And Adam has been summoned back. The curse has been neutralized. And Eve has been liberated. Death has been put to death. And we have been brought to life. Therefore, extolling, we cry out, Glory to you, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, 
you alone, our Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you, and your name will I praise you to eternity unto the ages of ages. Vouchsafe, O Lord, this day that we may be kept without sin. <speaking in Spanish> Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Doing some matric, ke ayi omnemati. Can in ke ayi, ke is to say on us to neonami. Ayi osathanatos and legis on him. Holy God, holy mighty. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Today has salvation come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected. From the tomb is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and great mercy. Ευλογη μένη η βασιλεία του πατρός και του ιού και του ιού πνεύματος νυν και αι και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. This holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the Holy and Great Church of Christ, for this Holy Metropolis, this parish and city, 
for every city and country and for the faithful who live in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists, and the frontline responders, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. You, Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable in glory, incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable in love for mankind ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul, everything within me. Bless his holy name. Tes presbiestis theotokus, tes os animas. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Tes presbiestis theotokus, tes os animas. Doxa patrike yo ke agi opnev mati. Keni ke agi ke istos eonas ton. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion and yours the kingdom of the and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord of my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, his hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who is risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever, your God of Zion, all to all generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation, to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Sim protus patus pistumenos, eg ne chronigiras to Lazaron Christe o Theos, o de que imis o si pendes, tati niki sim vola ferondes, si to niki titut Blessed is the entrance of your holy people, always now and ever in two ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God. Among the saints glorified. We sing to you. Alleluia. To confirm the general resurrection before your passion, you resurrected Lazarus from the dead, O Christ our God. Therefore, imitating the children, Carrying the symbols of victory, we cry out to you, the victor over death. Hosanna in the highest, blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Uh, no. The joy of all men, the truth who is Christ our God, the light and the life, the resurrection of the world has appeared unto those on earth, and that he is benevolent, becoming the type of the resurrection and granting divine remission unto all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For you are God, O holy, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Let's pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. O Sis Christonem Baptis Dite Christonem Edis Haste Father and 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have put on Christ forevermore. Alleluia. In and my Savior, the Lord, is the defender of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are ill-treated, since you are also in the body. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterous. Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never fail you nor forsake you. Hence we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Roscomen. Kyrios fotismos mu ke sotir mu, Kyrios hyperapistis ti zoiz mu. Sofia. Pros evreos emis ton is Pablo, tu anagnos ma. Roscomen. Adelphi. Βασιλεία να σα λεπτόν παραλάβοντε έχουμε χαρδινδεί. Λατρεύουμε ευάραστο στο Θεό με τα έδου και ευλαβία. Και γάρο Θεό Σίμων πυρ καταναλίσκον. Η φιλαδέλφια μένε το. Τις φλόξενιες τις μη επιλάθανεστε δια ταύτις γαρέλθον τινες κενισατές αγέλους μη νησκεστε τον δεσμίον οσιν δεμένι τον κατηχούμενον ως και αυτοί όντες εν σώματι, τίμιος ο γάμος εν πάση και οικοκίτη, αμοιάντος πόρνους δε και μύχους κρίνε ο Θεός, αφιλάργυρος ο τρόπος, αρκούμενη της παρουσίν αυτός, Γαρίρικεν 
ουμίσε ανώ ουμίσε εκαταλείποστε δάριονας ημάς λέγιν Κύριος είμαι βοηθός και ου φοβηθήσω με. Τι πίση μη άνθρωπος μη νημονεύεται τον ηγουμένων ημών ή την εσελαλίσαν ημίν των λόγων του Θεού ο να θεωρούντες την εκβασήν την αναστροφής μη είστε την πίστην Ιησούς Χριστός εκθέσεις και σημερών ο Αυτός και εις τους Be unto you the readers. Hallelujah, the Lord reigns. He has clothed himself in honor. Pre established the world which shall not be moved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Gospel reading is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. At that time, a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, from the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness is not unto death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by means of it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, let us go into Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were but now seeking to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world but if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. Thus he spoke, and then he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awake him out of sleep. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad that I was not there so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Thomas called the twins, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. While Mary sat in the house, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, 
I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying quietly, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary rise quickly and go out, they followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. Then Mary, when she came where Jesus was and saw him, fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled, and he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you have heard me always, but I have said this on account of the people standing by, that they may believe that you did send me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and his feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary, and had seen what he did, believed in him. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall Christ be. is in our midst. He is and ever shall Christ be. is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection. And what he is proclaiming, and as clearly revealed through this miracle of raising Lazarus, who lay in the tomb for four days, is that everyone will rise again. Jesus will raise each one of us from the dead. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this miracle and this great, beautiful, glad tidings that all will be raised presents to each one of us a challenge. What will we do about our own resurrection? How will we prepare ourselves to live for all eternity knowing that we will be raised from the dead. As the Lord will, when he raise us,
he will reward us and crown us with the virtues that we have acquired in this life. And he will ask us to be with him forever. Are we prepared to be with the Lord forever? Would we like to be in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, the most beautiful person who ever lived and who ever will live, who is full of love and compassion for us, who wishes that no person, no soul should be lost. This, the God-man Jesus Christ, is challenging us to live for him, to discover him, and to be Christians. And this is why that he raised not only Lazarus, but two other people in his holy life, demonstrating that he has the power to even raise us from the dead. The resurrection is for all, not only for our Lord Jesus Christ. The resurrection is for all, not only for those who confess the name of Christ. The resurrection is for all, even for the atheists and those who feel that they have perhaps abandoned God or let God down. The resurrection is for all. But how will we receive the resurrection that Jesus will bless us with? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, may it be with a gladness and joy and a abiding that says that we truly wish to be in communion with God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. That ever guarded by your power, we might give you the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Be gracious to me, a sinner. God, be gracious to me, a sinner. Amen. No one bound by carnal desires and pleasures worthy of Christ can draw near and miss you from the glory of the ships get not some even with heaven and past. That because of your great ineffable and measurable love for mankind, you impassively immediately became man. As the master of all became a high priest and delivered unto us this, the sacred service of his liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, you alone reign over the celestial and the terrestrial, born aloft in the cherubic throne. Lord of the seraphim, King of Israel, the only holy and resting among the holy ones, now beseech you who alone are good and inclined to hear, look down upon me, your simple and unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and heart of a wicked conscience, and enable me by the power of the Holy Spirit, clothed with the grace of the priesthood, stand before your holy table, celebrate your mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. I come before you with my head bowed, and I implore you, turn not your face away from me, or reject me among your children. Make me your sinful and unworthy servant, Worthy to offer you these gifts to you. For you are the one who both offers and is offered, the one who is received and is distributed. O Christ our God, you offer glory with your eternal Father and all the good mark of the Spirit, and ever to ages of ages. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the chair of the wishing that thrice over him lucky and chained, let us set aside all worldly cares, receiving the abundance of by Angelicos. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim as we sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us set aside all worldly care and receive the king of all this discord by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim as we sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim as we sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Justified in your words, 
May the Lord our God remember all of you in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Pandonimon nishti kiriotheos Anti Vasili of two Pondotan in Kai Case to say on us today or not. May the Lord our God remember in his kingdom all those who are battling the coronavirus, those who are suffering the departed, their families, and the afflicted. And may he remember in his kingdom all of the nurses and doctors, healthcare workers, scientists, and first responders in his kingdom, 
always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Yes, Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace, that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts that are presented and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. peace be unto you. Amen. Your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Love you, Lord, my strength is my rock. Tas tiras, tas tiras, and Sophia Proskomen, the doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, 
who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, the life of the ages to come. Amen. Pistevo e senetheon. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Ah, nos comentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Epharistis omen to Kyrio, let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right to him you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, and to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Agios, 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 Kyrios, Sabaoth. Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes down from heaven. Give the Lord, who is in heaven. blessed and powers, Master, who loves mankind. We also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, and you are only begotten Son of the Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy pure and blameless hand. Giving thanks and bless, blessing it, he hallowed and broke it, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles. Love te fagete, tu tu moesti to soma, tu iperimon clomenon, isafesina martion. Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. 
for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, we took the cup, saying, O mios, get to potirian, metato, dipnis, et legon. Pietex of tu pandas, tu to esti to emamu, to tisque anis thea thikis, tu iperimon ke polone kinomenon, misafes in amartion. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment and all that has come to pass, forsake the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, the third day, the ascension to heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Das ecton son si prosferomen katapanda kedia panda. We offer you these gifts from your own gifts in all things and behalf of all. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for those who partake of them, for vigilance of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, for fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment or condemnation. And we offer you the spiritual worship for those who have gone Repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, sects, for every righteous spirit who has completed this life in faith. Exeretos tis Panagia sacrandui per of loimenis in doxu the spinisimon theotoku kia parthenu Marias, a special most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to bless you, Theotokos, for blessed and pure, and I'll never forget my other than
Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live and every city and land of the faithful live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who are mindful of the poor and upon us all send forth your mercies. Grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you, oh Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you, not unto judgment nor condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Pater Imon, O en ti suranis, ayastito tonomasu, el theti vasiliasu, yenithitu tu thelimasu, os nuronoki epitigis, tornatonimon tu nepiusion, dosimin simeron, que afesimin taf o... O filima taimon, os que emis a fimilis o filetis simon, que emis isenengis imas is pirasmon, alaris emas apotoponiru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to ages of ages. Irini pasi, peace be unto you. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Hark on our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us invisibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. May God have mercy upon me, the sinner, and save us. Pros comen taiatisagis. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts are for the holy people of God.
The Lamb of God is apportioned and distributed a portion, but not divided, ever eaten, yet never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake. Jesus Christos Nika, Jesus Christ victorious. Jesus Christos is Doxan Theu Patrosami. One is holy, one is Lord. Jesus Christ, to the glory of the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ. The Son, of the, the Son of the living God who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word, in deed, in knowledge, or in ignorance. And make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for, for the remission of sins and for eternal life. I mean, behold, I approach for divine communion, O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy, the body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine eros you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. Being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to me and my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body the pledge of the life and the kingdom to come. It is good for me to, to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God, and to me, Philemon, the unworthy presbyter, is imparted the precious and all-holy body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Me, for the most unworthy priest, give the most pure blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Praise the name of the Holy Trinity, which not ever to wait in Blessed is, is he who is Christ, your true God, which not ever to wait in
At this time, we ask one and all if you would kneel so we may prepare the gifts for the pre-sanctified for Holy Week. Meta fovu theo, pisteos ke agapis pro selfete, with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near.
So, Son of Theos, to lie on su, que vlog you son ting, clear no me on su, O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Confirm the general resurrection before your passion. You resurrected Lazarus from the dead, O Christ our God. Therefore, imitating the children, carrying the symbols of victory, we cry out to you the victory over death. O Sana, in the highest, blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. <coughs> Thinking in Ando tenin kiai kes to se onos to neonon always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification that all day long 
We may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be attentive, having received the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us give fitting thanks unto the Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and free of sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that this day you have once again made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our paths, keep us firmly in awe of you, guard our lives, keep us steady in our way. Through the prayers of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, to you we give the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who put our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. Do you give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth, from now until the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, and to ages of ages. Glory to you, o Christ, our God, and our hope and our Lord. Glory to you, may Christ, our true God, who raised Lazarus on the fourth day from the dead, through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, through the power of the precious and life giving cross, protection of the honorable body of those heavenly powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious renowned apostles, Holy, glorious, and victorious, martyrs are venerable in God, bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord, you came on him. of St. Catherine, the great martyr, we honor in this holy temple, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the blessing and protection of the Holy Trinity be with each one of us. You may be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. Our Lord has overcome the world in every respect. He has conquered sin and death and the devil. And through the raising of Lazarus on the fourth day, he is demonstrating that the resurrection from the dead is for all men. No matter where we live in the world, no matter where we may have lived or, or where we may have died or, or where we may have been laid to rest. When he returns at his awesome and glorious second coming, everyone who has ever lived or ever will live will be raised from the dead and will stand before his glorious throne. And at that time, as we all are raised back to life, our, our souls being reunited with our body, we will give an account of our life. And in a very short period of time, the, Fathers of the church say in the time that it, that it takes to read those six psalms that we read every Sunday morning before the liturgy, in, in that very short amount of time, everyone who has ever lived will be judged. And those who have decided that they wish to live for Jesus Christ will live for him in, in all eternity, in a place of light, in a place of joy, in a place of green pastures where there is neither sorrow no, nor pain nor suffering, but life everlasting. 
We won't be in these bodies anymore. He will give us those glorious bodies that will be endowed with whatever virtues that he wishes to endow them with. And at that time, we will be in a place where the sun will never set. He will be the light and he will be our breath and our, our strength in every way. May we put our faith in, in Jesus Christ, our Lord. May we commit ourselves to him, to living in him, to abiding in him, and to communing with him in this life so that we may do so in the life to come. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May God bless each one of us. Amen.